Tally ho everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. I'm your host, Darth Exilius. Yes, welcome. Ah. So, we're going to continue where we left off. I do believe we were getting closer and closer. So, a few things. Um, well, basically, I've already done what was asked of me. Uh, basically, to sell all my unique items, which I have done. Wait, have I? Oh, wait, sell mode, that's the one. Okay, so we can sell one of these. Awesome. And then we can sell... What's this thing? One of these. And... No, 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 no. No, no, no. There's one more thing. There was one more. Come on. <laughs> Accidentally pressing the escape button. No. Oh. Uh, where is it? This thing. What is that? Slimy. Your transaction. Yes, it is. All right. So we're going to continue. Ha ha. Whoa, this is not looking good. Um, uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such... hatred. Be careful, Dust. Oh no. Look at all these. Oh, look at all the dead people. It's so sad. Oh, let's see who this enemy is. <gasps> so, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of. Innocence, when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name? Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Okay, here we go. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! I refuse. Huh. Whoa. Oh. oh my goodness. I think I've faced enemies like him before. Whoa. Sworn! How dare you! Okay. Well, we're kind of dying a bit. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Okay, let's uh, eat the num nums. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Plus one health. Pure silence. Whoa. Um, warm pretzel. I love pretzels. I think somebody will know that I love pretzels. Okay. Um. Ow. <laughs> okay. We need to avoid the flames. Just so you guys know, I'm not the best at these games, but I will try. Okay, avoid the swarm. Avoid the swarm. Okay, maybe not. I don't think we can actually, um, actually, um, avoid that. Oh, wow. Okay, num num num. Turkey! Okay. Hmm, I wonder if there's a certain technique to killing them. Oh, yeah! Avoid! Avoid! Okay, no! Ah! <laughs> I'm so bad at these things. Ah! Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Down we go. Swarm! Oh yeah, I am Arbor Schwarzenegger. Okay. 
Well, let's hope this guy won't be back. Oh. Ow! Ow! Wow. How dare you! It's not exactly getting stronger as we fight. Oh, but I do need to eat. Nom 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 nom. Okay, we're running low on good food. So, we need to kill him very soon. Ow. Gotcha! Victory! Screech! La, 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 la. <laughs> the lights of Elysium shine upon me. <clears throat> but can they reach the darkness within you? I have come to my end. What are you? Among the last of a dying breed, a once proud race extinguished by your hands. My hands? <clears throat> you and your warm blooded kin, we moonbots were outcast, scattered to the wind. You and others like you. They came to my village, killed my family. I, I didn't... I can't remember. There is sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt. It is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? He even murdered his own kind, our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? Uh, who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Hmm. We did it. He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name... Gaius. Not Gaius Baltar. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Gaius Julius Caesar. Gaius Julius Caesar. Sorry, that's a, that's a, that's a reference to Rome. Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. Ooh. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Technique? Eh? Is this like... The technique? Hang on. I need to eat though. Otherwise, we'll die and we'll have to do that whole thing again. Wow, you go for food so quickly. So, what is this technique? Hmm, more monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? <laughs> There's just no please in some people. <laughs> it was a valiant effort, Fidget. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! Woohoo! What? Alright. Oh, oh we got them all. Wait, maybe there's something up here. I want to see. No, it's nothing. Wah! Hiya! 
A note! Uh, no, 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 no. Is this the note? Uh, so Sarahi's letter. My dearest Mosca, something terrible is happening here. The vill- oh. Uh, oh no, this is- The village is on fire, everyone is screaming. If you ever find this letter, I will be hiding in our secret place. Please, please hurry. Oh no. Oh no, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh no. I mean, I mean, it could be fine. She could be- I mean, I'm sure she's fine. No, she's gotta be. There's so much darkness. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. Ooh. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Ooh. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um... I certainly hope you save. Uh, well, we haven't. Uh, uh, wait. Let's go back and save at that other one. And then I'm gonna try it. I might as well. Uh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Might as well. It could be fun. Okay, so what? what is this? Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, oh, that just took us back up. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. Okay, so this is a time tower? Okay. Well, that was... Oh. <laughs> that was a bit uh, intense. I kind of want to try it again, though, know, because it doesn't look that hard. It's just that one enemy that, that's a pain. Die! Ah. Okay, let's have a look again. I'll, I'll try this, like, like, maybe two more times. Wait, what? Oh. Aha! Okay, so that's something about a lamppost, so let's go have a look. Oh, um... Uh, what? Ow, I tried, I tried. Okay, uh, no, no, no. Uh... Okay, so what you do. Oh my goodness, okay, this is really... Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save this for later. I'm not too confident right now to keep trying that. I don't want you guys to get bored. So, we're gonna continue. Uh, we're gonna continue onwards. Uh, yep. Uh, oh. Uh, I know you as well. Eh, too, brute. So I wonder who this Gaius guy is. Yes, who's this Gaius? No more Mr. Nice Gaius. Meanwhile, far to the north? Ooh. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. Oh, man. As you wish, General. This guy means business. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? So dust. I'm guessing that he's looking for dust. Um, 
Okay, so we need to head back to the village. Something's over here though. I think we'll go to that after we go back to Aurora Village, because we have a few bits of business to uh, take care of here. Um, did we get what you wanted? I don't think so. Let's take a look at what we actually accomplished. So, no. <laughs> that damn laundry. I know, I should have I should have poisoned it, but I don't know, it, it might have killed the guy. I don't want to be, I don't want to be unnecessarily cruel. Oh, there's the dude. Let's talk. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denim Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped. But her parents and her brother did not. Uh, Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Okay. We completed that mission. Oop. Hey, buddy. Wait, did we find his... Wait... Oh, hello again. Thank you so much for helping me before. You're welcome, Corbin. Just be a little smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidgets. <laughs> like the laundry. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong, I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000-hit combo. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo. <laughs> Fidgets, calm down. Whoa. Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000-hit combo? Sure. Why not? Oh, oh gosh. wow. Awesome. Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, this one's for Corbin. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. <laughs> um, well, th that'll be an interesting uh, mission. Wait, can we? We can open this again? Oh no, we couldn't open it before. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Hello. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. Yay! I just like touching bases, everybody. Um, alright, so there's a shop here. Hello. Welcome back! Do you have any... Can, can we actually sell to you? I don't know if we have anything new. No, we do not. Um, but what would I like to buy? Bay. I'd like to buy... Um, probably some cocoa. Ooh, that's very expensive Thank though. You. Such a ripoff. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but 
I just know something is troubling him. Mm. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west uh, entrance of the village, oh, near the field pulls. where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Yay! Oh, I leveled up. Hello. I do like leveling up. Oh, just need to get these pillows eh, sorted out. Right, okay, let's see. Um, I don't know, I always kind of rely on fidget, to be honest. I'm not very good with dust, but with fidgets, um... I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Exactly. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. Mm -hmm. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. General Gaius. Wow, racism. <laughs> There's racism in this game. That's great. That's a great theme, guys. Oh, Ginger. Hello. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? <laughs> what? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Dedham Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Huh. Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! <laughs> Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly- Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving so. town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to drive completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? <laughs> like, I know, it doesn't make now. any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Has. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Oh... Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Whoa! Huh. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. 
You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Okay. Whoa. That was so bizarre. What were those things? <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! Aww. But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game likes to be so honest. <laughs> but we need to go see what this problem is. Oh, and we need to deal with this guy! Ah. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient type and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Oh. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? So. Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, ha, well, when you put it so threateningly, <laughs> I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. Huh. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. <laughs> Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Oh. Oh yeah. I think I got that paragon because I took the, um, you know, the, the, the right choice. If you know what I mean. What's happening? You really ought to be better equipped, in case anything else comes through here. Nonsense. I crafted this spear myself. <laughs> yes, it's very nice. All right, that's enough. Why don't you two leave me alone now? Huh. What about you? Please, take a break. You've earned it. I appreciate the offer, but it's going to be a while before I can rest. That's true. Yeah, we need to go have a look what's happening outside the village. Ah, Dust! Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Alright. Well, I think it's time to take a break. So, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.